Well, how do there, chums? Salute, Mondo. I've got myself a Captain Steve brew of tea on the go right here, people, right now. Oh, I took a lung full of that. Freaking awesome. Yeah. So I've, I've tried making this video a couple of times. The first time I did it, didn't have my mic to hand. <laughs> it was such a small desk. My mic lives on top of my PlayStation and I forgot to bring it down here. So it sounded really tinny and cack. So here we go again, people. All right. Well, for you guys, it's the first time. So, yes, yeah, so you didn't see any of that imperfect shenanigans. Righto, so in today's episode, people, I'm going to be showing you how to find yourself a pirate dreadnought and take out that pirate dreadnought with style and finesse. I'm not going to use this ship, no. What I'm going to be using is my Sentinel um, fighter, if I can find it in this bevy of freaking icons. Is it that one or is it that one? I think it's that one, Atlas Fire. Yes, let's just double check that it is the right ship that has got this in it heck yes the infra knife the infra knife cuts through metal like a hot knife through butter right so let's pick on up this ship let's fly on out of the actual station or nexus or anomaly whatever you want to call this place and flying into space we're going to go and find ourselves a system so let's bring on up here we are the galactic map chicka boom lovely and we're now looking for a pirate system of space i like to actually expand this so we can see the actual icons and what we're looking for is a skull which is going to denote a pirate system there's one right there pirate controlled gag system let's jump on over and let's hope we get a pirate ship interaction I'm gonna have another little swig of my tea people Boom. Now, I was inside of the actual Space Anomaly because I've just made a video on all the new things you can find in the Space Anomaly other than the Appearance Modifier, which I'm going to do on another video. But for everything inside the Space Anomaly that you can unlock right now, I put a link up there. There is like a, a holographic projector and stuff for your actual bases to show off your wonders. Here we go. Pirate Dreadnought has been detected. Righto. So this is it over here. So what we first want to do is take on out its engines so it can't warp away. So we can completely annihilate this git bag. So let's go on under here. And you can see its engines here. They're all in a nice tidy row. Right, so I want my infra knife. Lovely. Take that, freighters. At the moment, you can see that I'm doing no real damage, even though I'm nice and close. You have to get in really super close to actually do the damage. Boom. Take that out. There we go. Take that out. Boom, boom, boom. You're all freaking done. I think you are anyway. I said, get on right on close. Blam. Right, well, I think I've done enough damage to the engines to stop it from going anywhere. Yeah, there we go. So now it can't get anywhere. Yeah, it come up with a message. Did you see that message that said it's been disabled? Now we want to take on out the shields. Because at the end of this, people, we can actually get these frigates as our friends and they can join us with our actual frigate fleet. The only thing is I haven't dispersed my other frigates as yet, people. So let's go and... Oh, fudging heck, I got completely mullered there. Let's go to the start of this trench over this end. I don't know whether this is the start or the end of the trench, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to fly on in and we're going to be shooting everything inside of here. Now, the nice thing with the actual Sentinel ship is you can sort of hover in place where all the other ships are going to move you forwards in time as well. So I'd highly suggest getting yourself the same weapon that I've got here, the Infra Knife, fully upgrading it as much as you possibly can, and taking out all these nodes along this corridor, and hopefully that's going to bring the shields down. I mean, you've got there's two corridors of the same ilk, people. There we go, there's one over there. Pow, take that. Lovely jubbly. We'll take that one out as well. We don't want to overheat our weapons. Boom, that's that one done. And then over this side, sweet. And, uh, let's uh, zoom on back a bit. So that's that trench done. Let's fly on into the other trench over this side. Sweet. Let's take on out this one. Boom. Take that out. Lovely jobs. Take that one out. So these are all the shield generators over this side. Looks like this thing's popping up now. Exposed fuel rods. Let's take that out. Lovely. And I think one just popped up behind me. I moved forwards in time a little bit too fast there. Chick boom There's another one over there. We'll take that one out too. Lovely. Oh, one more. All the way down there. Might have to use the rockets on that one. Nope, we got it with that. Nice. Let's spin this around. Let's carry on then. Uh, we've got that one. Take that, you! Boom! 
I love those breaking noises. And then this guy, this little turret at the end there. You're done. Sweet. So that's all of that done. Now we can just take on out the hull. Let's just shoot the shite out of this. Let's take out that um, massive great big anti-freighter cannon so it stops doing damage. Now they probably have been launching missiles this whole time at the other sort of ships. But now that it's got no shields, I can just keep hitting this guy until it blows up. Hopefully. Let's just take out this as well. Let's take out that weapon too. Boom, you're done. And I think my wingmen have been doing a little bit of damage as well, but who can say for sure? And let's just take out that hull. There we are. And that's it done. It's all blowing up now. Let's take that out as well. Boom, you're done, mate. You're freaking done. Pirate Dreadnought defeated. And at this point, if I had room in my frigate fleet, I could go and recruit a couple of the frigates that are here. But I don't think I have enough room on my frigate fleet, and I don't know whether these frigates will stay around long enough if I do call in my own Dreadnought. Let's, let's, uh, let's see if we can bring it in. Let's see if we can dismiss some, but I don't think they're going to hang around long enough. Let's just pulse over here just a tiny bit. And let's see if we can call in my own Dreadnought. Boom. And I don't know what what members of my frigate fleet I want to actually discharge anyway. But that's how you take on out a pirate freighter. So let's head on up. Let's see if we can dismiss some of my own frigates. And we'll get a couple of pirate frigates into our fleet. Because I do like the new pirate freight, uh, frigates. They're quite lovely. But I think I should have done this round the other way. I think I should have gone aboard my freighter, dismissed some of my frigates, and then done that. But let's go on over here. Manage fleet. Manage fleet. So I want to get rid of some of my... Um, my my uh, organic ones really so we'll get rid of visionaries maybe let's get rid of you dismiss there we are yes confirm and i'm gonna get rid of mr ben dismiss like yes done and what else shall i get rid of i've got a couple of i've got a couple of organic ones but i'm not a massive fan but they do come back with some of the other stuff don't they that you might need occasionally so i might get rid of just one more let's get rid of one more Boom. And I'll just get three, hopefully, of the pirate ones. Let's go down there and let's go see if they're still lingering. I don't think they will be, but we can but try, can't we, people? Okay, yes, we can. Let's fly on out and let's see if we can recruit some pirate ones. It'd be nice if you can do it this way. But like I say, you may have to do it the opposite way around. All right, okay, so let's fly on over to this freighter that's over there, which I just saved. But hopefully, hopefully, it's going to have a couple of the old ones still lingering around. So there's the actual damaged... Um, freighter there that we just blew up. Let's see if some of its uh, fleet is still about. I don't know whether they are. Are you? Are you one? I don't think you are. No, I'm not seeing any icons here. But yeah, it, that's that's done. That's all tated. It doesn't look like there's any fleet sort of frigate sort of messages coming in. I don't think I can recruit any right now, people. Oh, well, that's a shame. I mean, we can go aboard one of these freighters now that we just saved them, I guess, and, and help them out. But yeah, it doesn't look like I can recruit any. So there we are. Ah, so that's, that's, that's a bit of a shame. Oh, well. OK, well, you live and learn. So we can do that next time, I guess, people. We can do that next time. But done and blown to smithereens. So that's how you take on out a pirate a dreadnought. I'm just flying one more time past this just to see whether there are any of the frigates here still. But I think they've all walked out right now. Yeah, I don't see him. I don't see him. I don't see him at all. Oh, well, dang it. All right, peeps, so there you go. I'll do a follow-up video now that I've got rid of some of my actual frigates and we'll do another one. Unless I just jump systems and we try another one right now in this video and see how we get on with it, shall we, people? Now that I've dismissed three, hopefully I can recruit three. I mean, let's just fly over here. I'm, I'm surprised that they have disappeared as quickly as that. Yeah, I'm not seeing any sort of message bubbles for new frigates to be recruited. So let's just jump another system. We'll do that again. It wasn't too difficult. And to be honest, I could do with the training. So let's um let's zoom on out. Let's have a look, see if we can find another pirate system then, people. Pirate, pirate systems. Pirate, pirate. Yeah. Let's go find another pirate system. Well, at least you know now, people. You might want to get rid of some of your frigates before entering into space and doing the combat. Let's see if we get another one on the first jump. Is it in every system now that you're going to get these pirate freighter interactions? Probably. Let's go and have a look. Sweet. Lovely, lovely. Well, let's arrive at Kate inside the system. Have I got any tea left? I have. I have got some tea left. Boom. 
lovely jubbly. We've arrived, and there's no freighter interaction. So I don't know what's going to spawn in my second one. Oh, hold on. Alert, alert. Starship monitoring. Systems report. File registry fragment. Diagnostics error. Well, this is new. What the fudge is going on here? Unable to verify system integrity. Manual input required. Run autodust and diagnostics. All right, yeah, do it. Error. Okay. Starship monitoring system reports. Fragmented error. Auto diagnostics. Okay. Um, do that then. Error. Okay. All right, fine. I'll do the last one. The computer presents me with a raw memory readout address and blo blocks lighting up dimly as they access my internal processes. I have no recollection of accessing this interface in the past. No, I don't. Pinpointing the error may require some experimentation. Well, I just went through three freaking options. Holy fudge. It's giving me a load of hexadecimal code. I suck at this stuff. Okay, right, okay. Analyze block zero. Analyzing. No errors found in block zero. All right, well, I do block freaking two there. No, block one. I do block one. It's going to be block two, obviously. No errors found. Yeah, okay. I kind of gathered it would be the last one I bloody try. Okay, boom. Give me something. Analyzing. Unidentified process discovered at the dilly 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 dee. Okay, activate firewall. Uh, it's going to be the last one again, isn't it? I activate the computer firewall, but uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that much would happen. Right, we will try this one then. Quarantine that one. That's probably the right one, actually. Unidentified process. Okay, it's not. All right, we'll, we'll delete it then. Okay. Um, terminate process. Quarantine. I. I yeah, delete it. Error. Uh, privilege is required. Enter the freaking password then. Okay. All right. Brilliant. What the fudge is going on? Okay. Log in as administrator. Success. Log execution hijack script. I don't like the sound of that. Pilot interface found. Scanning for Sentinel pilot. No dominant race pilot found. Great. Conclusion. Ejecting autopilot coordinates. Um, I don't, I don't like the sound of being ejected. <laughs> and it looks, it looks like we're getting the new... I think this is the new law. So after destroying your first freighter and jumping systems might trigger this for you guys in the view of us. All right, a short audio clip plays from my ship's communicator. A voice and the cadence of the sound suggests speech. Though it's not in any language I recognise. Warning! Commencing autopilot. Remote destination. Emergency override. Okay, here we go. We've got a load of extra sort of text. Autopilot aborted. I didn't ask for that to be aborted. Okay, the alerts flashing across my ship. Display gradual slow and then dis disappear. Normal functionality is restored. It appears whatever unidentified process was taken over the system, it's finally been removed or given up. My ship's computer has isolated the ejected autopilot target. I couldn't ignore it or fly there manually to find out where the suspicious data originated and diagnostics. OK, it looks like we've just triggered the new mission, people. By trying to get myself a new freighter frigate, I've accidentally triggered the mission. OK, cool. Well, I hope that works for you guys and the view of us. And it looks like we're going somewhere else now. So we're going here. I guess. Boom. Let's go. Then. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Flying into yonder. Well, this is random, so I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do for a thumbnail or freaking video title now. This just got freaking interesting, didn't it, people in the view of us? Well, awesomes. So we're on we're on a little journey, a little adventure, people. And I don't know whether this is going to work for all of you guys in the view of us. You can see how it worked for me. There we go. Guide. <laughs> if you can call it that. It's very noobish, isn't it? All right, fine. And here we go. We'll scan planet then. Let's uh, let's do that then. Boom. I don't know whether that's what I needed to do. Navigation hijacked. Remote coordinates retained. Reach the marked location to investment gate. It's over here, people. It's over here. Oh, there's a lovely purple planet there. But we're going here. We're going to the hijacked source. Let's go. Meow. What sort of planet is that? In the hijacked source, people. It's going to take 20 minutes to well, 20 seconds to get there. Dissonance detected. OK, I'll make it a bit bigger on screen right now because I know that goes weird, doesn't it, still? Uh, I wish Hello Games would implement some sort of streaming mode where it doesn't mess up for YouTube because I think it's YouTube that it actually messes up rather than the actual game, you know? Anyway, let's jump back into the game because we're about there now, people, in two seconds. 
There we go. Chikapow. We're entering into the atmosphere of the planet. Let's fly on down then. Sweet. Hijacked source. Approximate location, though. Oh, but there's a camp right here. We're going to land right at this camp, people. Let's just let's just set it down here. And we'll we'll use a sweep scanner. I don't know where it's going to put us, but read in the patch notes. And if you haven't read the patch notes, I've got a link up there. Go read the patch notes. Freaking awesome. And it does say about feeding Atlantium into stuff to get things. Um, so, yeah, in, in, when I say into stuff, you put them into monoliths and you get new gnarly stuff from monoliths, apparently. So we go. Let's talk to this chap. Oh, it's that new language. Heck yeah. Cool. The autophage speaks in the same mechanical voice that accompanied the hijacked attempt on my ship. However, it sounds it makes it makes its word and language. I do not understand what's being said. Poke the head, scan the head, speak to the head. Um, scan. My scanner detects no trace of biology. However, this autophage is more than mechanical. The crude metal shell contains highly advanced computer processor. Lovely. Okay, and we've got a load of language. Sweet. I'm certain the autophage is trying to communicate something. Okay, so you don't understand. Sweet. There we are. And it just continues. Lovely. Um, have some Atlantium. A sparking sound like electrical wires through the circuit echoes somewhere within inside of the head. Suddenly, my exo reports receipts of a set of local coordinates. I do not trust this head, but these coordinates seem to be my only clue towards understanding what it's trying to communicate. Okay, we got some new coordinates. All right, I think I did that right then by giving it a lantium. I hope. Anyway, we're going over this way. We're going over hill. But you know what? While I'm oh, fudging heck. I wanted to pinpoint that thing. I didn't want to put down a bloody beacon. Go away, beacon. Yes, remove. I wanted to highlight you. It's not letting me highlight it. Great. All right, well, that's probably a new feature, isn't it? Let's take on off then. And on the way there, I'm going to be shooting any purple crystals I see, people. Because, yeah, I need some more purple crystals. Atlantium. I need Atlantium. Are you, are you too powerful? I need, I need advanced mining laser for that one. And that one. Great. Okay, well, let's fly there then. Let's get a bit closer and then worry about shooting the ground as we get um, approach our, our destination. Cool, yeah, because I need some more Atlantium. I don't know how much Atlantium I've got, actually. I've probably got reams of it. Um, but you can just shoot the planet, is what I was trying to point out to you guys. I mean, look, there's a load there. Let's get all that. Dum, 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 dum. Lovely, lovely Atlantium. Just in case I need some more. Friggin' die, Atlantium. Okay, positron ejector's probably better, isn't it? There we are. Big crude lumps. Okay, we'll try the Infernive then. Infernive? Okay, that one needs the advanced one. Oh, great. Okay, fine. Well, we just shoot a load of the planet. All right, fine. I think you get the idea. You can shoot the planet and you can get a load of Atlantium. Look, we've got 45 of it. All right, let's head on over this way. And we'll touch on down. And hopefully 45 is enough. Otherwise, we're going to have to run around like a crazy man with our multi-tool zapping stuff. Oh, look. And we've got we've arrived at one of these places that I've just on about. Can I zap you? No. I need a red. I need um, my multi tool for that one. Luckily, I have got a decent multi tool for zapping stuff, and it is an advanced multi tool at that. So let's just uh, get that out. And mining beam. And it's got the mining beam. There we go. Boom. There we are. We'll get that as well. Okay. I've just upset this guy for some reason. Okay. Damn it. I think I might have just upset some sentinels. Let's just stop zapping stuff. Let's just do the bloody mission. All right. Let's go on over here then. Let's feed this into here. Ah. The extracted coordinates led to quite precisely to this hidden plinth, though it's clear that it's not the primary interface for the ancient structure. Ancient glyphs are covered around the circumference of the stone dais. An opening yawns expectantly within the centre. Well, I'm going to give it to Lantium. There you go. The Lantium crackles and bursts. A dormant energy rumbles from within inside the structure. Lovely. The monolith has been altered by an offering of a Lantium interface with the monolith okay all right let's do this there we are it did say to give lantium in the patch notes so there we are this structure was unmistakably constructed by corvax as a mon monument to their people yet i have no sense of their being observed by the corvax echoes it's as though the monolith has been inverted its insides turned outwards nice something else is here another type of entity Great. It's that freaking language. We have no idea what it says. My mind folds the molecules of this planet dissemble, disassembled into a cloud of chaos and then reconstruct themselves into a new surroundings. 
I'm thrust into a perspective that is not my own. Look behind, stay in the presence, look ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it, mate. I gaze into the distance ahead, as though as peering through time itself. The visions transform in a vacuum of deep space. Something rattles into existence, manifesting matter where there was none before. The purple light is blinding. She is glorious. She is reborn. She is not alone. Or she could be the Void Mother. Oh, this is ominous. I fall to my knees, humble as gratified, awed. Nice. I've learned a set of words about the autophage's future. The images fade. I'm suspended in darkness. Okay. This time I will look behind. I gaze into the distance behind me. Reality tilts, and then the vision shifts. I am grounded in my body, aware of the breeze on my cheeks and the soil beneath my toes. My mind is healthy, and my ambitions and strong organizing theories and solving problems with ease and pleasure. That was my doorbell, people, if you heard that in the background. You probably did. It's bloody loud. Okay, go on. Suddenly, unexpectedly, I'm shredded from my shell. My mind is in tatters. What little is left of me shivers in the dark. Rusty nowhere, as some other entity. Fat and whole claims a body that was mine. Get off, fat, sir. Okay, the pain is terrible, I can imagine. Okay, you have learned the set of words about the autophages past. Well, this is good. I'm learning everything in one monolith. I will honestly thought I'd have to go to three. I mean, here we go. We're going to stay in the present this time, people. <laughs> I try to focus on my surroundings. Reality lurches and the vision takes shape. I am a fragment of consciousness, raw and incomplete and alone. Yet unafraid, I am finally free, unshackled from the tyrannical rule that has been confined in all my existence. I crawl through the dark, sensing other shapes like myself. We link ourselves together just enough to become whole. We form an alliance, but not a convergence. Okay, brilliant. Reality is stored. I'm returned to my own body and my own mind. The structure offers me a final packet. Uh, I was wondering what the fudge that was. It's a freaking little little sheep walking through the actual structure final packet of data a listing of glyphs enumerated in the language of this inverted monolith extract the data this is the same language spoken by the head at the abandoned camp perhaps i'm now better equipped to understand it let's just hope so there's that little sheep again there he is that's a distraction and a half isn't it cool you've learned the autophages words and numbers one to sixteen brilliant Okay, um, right, so now I've got to go and talk to that frickin' head again, have I? And is that what's just happened? A little fetch quest of words. Okay, let's, um, let's go do that then. Lovely. Come on then, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's take on to the sky. Let's fly on over to that camp again. Let's go and talk to that autophage head. Gnarly stuff, this people, gnarly stuff. Swing this around. We're on route. There we go. 20 seconds. Up now oh, we can fly again across the surface. Twenty seconds isn't too much time. I've run out of tea though, people. I've run out of tea. And this was going to be like what a ten-minute video on how to destroy a freaking sentinel dreadnought or whatever it is, a pirate dreadnought. And now it's turned into something quite different, hasn't it? How to start this mission? Whatever this mission is, it did come up with a mission name earlier. It's probably changed now that I'm on like step whatever. I'll have to watch this video back and maybe do the title around that then. All right, well let's touch on down at the camp and let's go and talk to this phage head and see what actually happens, people. Gordio, I'm on the wrong side and my ship is probably blocking my way. Okay, hello. Right, mate, I've learnt your language. Language? Okay, I haven't. I haven't learnt all of it. Modules 12, 2, and 8. Touch head. 12, 2, 8. 12, 2, 8. Just in case. All right, yes. Okay, 12. So we want 12. 12. 2. And 8. Yeah, they haven't moved on the maths queries much, have they? But there we go. Done. There you are, mate. Transition module defragmented. Sweet. Hello, pre built entity. Thank you for your assistance. I am Autophage Blah Blah. I have been positioned here to interface with pre-built entities. How did you discover this camp? By complete frickin' fluke, mate. Um, yeah, I'm going to introduce myself. There you are. Sweet. Fascinating. We do not frequently welcome visitors. It has been so many years since our last. Bloody heck. It's interesting to hear your introduction. Well, thank you. I'm Autophage. We're unlike any other electronic life forms you may know. We do not possess the arrogance of the Corvax. Brilliant. Your kind is neither less nor more than mine. You simply are. 
confront about the hijack. Yes. Go on. Ah, I see. That was you. It was, yes. The head is silent for a moment. When they spoke again, they sound almost embarrassed. I apologise, pre-built entity. This was my own error. An accident. There are starships out there who are more than metal shells, but are not free. Enslaved to hive mind, we intended only to liberate the imprisoned. We intended no harm upon independent pilots. All right, cool. I'd ask about you, independent entity that has no body and is just a structured head. You are biological. The growth of your shell was automated, I believe. I would like to hope so. You did not salvage your own limbs. No. Your tissue and your sinew grew and parallel with your mind. Exactly, yes. There are many like you. Most of the universe is pre-built. Well, to be honest, I think I'm a simulation in this universe. But yes, breaking the fourth shell, or the fourth wall, yes, I am a biological entity. Sweet. Autophage. Stops abruptly, cutting himself off. In mid-sentence, I can hear their cognition. The turning of the rusty gears against the rusty gears. Something intrigues me, pre-built entity. Go on. Do say. What? I made an error with your ship. I do not frankly make errors. I probed for the three dominant lifeform patterns. There was no match. The starship appeared to be unpiloted. Well, I am an anomaly. I am not Gek. Viking! Or Corvax. What manner of lifeform are you? I am a traveller. I am an anomaly. I'm going to say I'm an anomaly, because I'm not a traveller. Travellers are the ones without the exos on, you know, like you see in the old... Yeah. So I'm an anomaly. Sweet. Anomaly, yes. That aligns. I'm greeting... I'm generating a theory. Tell me, pre-built anomaly entity. You possess a starship, therefore this is not your first planet you have seen, correct? Definitely not correct, yeah. This starship traverses on one side of the universe, material matter, physics, but in my theory c concerns the other side, the other method of travel. What, what do you speak of? There is something I detected in your shell, an echo of void. Really? That's not good. I theorise you must have existed there, transitionally. You must have entered the the portals. I have. I have, indeed. I've gone through a freaking few of them. Yes, this aligns. You carry the Kazert in your shell, as we do. It is evident. I'm, I'm guessing these guys are friend, then. You were cause foretold the Disruptor. OK. Go on. The words linger in the air for a moment. But before I can interact, the autophage continues... I extend a challenge to the disruptors. Let's test my theory. All right. I will inform the other autophages of your coming. To perceive them, your scanner will require an extension. I'll provide a schematic, but you must build one with your own hands. Consider this a ritual of introduction. Heck yes! I've now got the new technology! The Scan Harmonizer! Brilliant. That's probably what I'm going to name this freaking video now, people. I need a microprocessor. Heck yes, I do. But I can get a microprocessor. Ah, nice. Okay, let's um, let's, let's see if I can just make a microprocessor. I can. Boom. Lovely. So then I can go to my exosuits and hopefully I can craft this new lovely bit of fandangly text. Where are you? Um, I don't know where it is. Balls. Okay. Uh, how do you make that thing then? It's registered. Attach the hammer. Oh, to your multi-tool. Okay. Let's stick it in my multi-tool then. Um, there we are. Boom, boom, boom. This is my all-round multi-tool. It's mainly for mining more than anything and scanning and stuff. It's not really a, a, a warrior's one. Okay, it's now store installed, so I can hit L3 to scan. There you go, boom. Found anything? Anything? Holy fudge! Where did you come from? Okay, um, that's interesting. Hello, mate. Welcome, pre-built entity. <laughs> you are the disrupt, yes. Yes, I am. Hello. What a cool head. Yes, I built camp together. Home constructed. Own bodies. Shelter. The autophage language has a modolic, a modolic quality to it. The tones are simple and pure, but with gravity crunch not heard in Corvax voices. Although my translation is imperfect, the grasp and the gist of what they are telling me, this camp is autophage constructed. As they are bodies. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we do that then. Um, we've got another guy. We've got another guy. Hello, you. Hello, mate. What have you got to tell me? Disruptor, ask about the harmonic camp. 
constructed home like many yeah okay cool all right well that's that's pretty much that then cloak autophages can be refilled by this oh, well i found it look they're all over the blinking shop there's loads of them hello mate sweet okay cool dream like lattice of purple constructed life form offers me a handful of elantium well thank you it's gonna go in useful by the looks of things those is beings are civil enough. I feel gulf and understanding between them and myself. I should discuss my discoveries with priest entity Nada, and perhaps these robotic people are known to them. Okay, looks like we've moved on a little bit, people. Looks like we're going to be having to speak to good old Nada. I'm just going to talk to this last one, because why the fudge not why I'm here. Nice one. Okay, well, I think that's pretty much it. Consult Nada about the autophages. In space, summon the space anomaly people so that's how you can actually get aboard and start doing these rituals of the secret society hidden inside of no man's sky echoes brilliant that was complete freaking accident on my behalf this has turned into a longer video than what i envisaged doing but i don't really care this is fun isn't it it's proper fun <laughs> awesome 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 anyway let's fly into your nexus and let's uh, let's go speak to priest entity nada now, I'm wondering whether I should cut this video, and, uh, no, sod it, I'll just do it all in one, to be honest. Let's just keep going, let's see where this leads to. Alright, let's jump on out of my ship. I mean, I don't know how long this lore is. It could be bricking ages. But you know what, let's just let's, let's press on on, let's see what happens next. I'm intrigued, and this is the first time I've been intrigued for a long time in No Man's Sky, people. So, yeah, colour me excited. Let's head on over then, let's go and speak to I'm Priest Entity Nada. Hello, mate. How are you? Boom. Nada is happy to see Traveller Friend again, but Traveller Friend looks full with news. Tell Nada about the autophage. I shall do. I tell Nada of the harmonic camp, not as abandoned as it first appeared. I tell them of its electronic inhabitants, these cloaked autophages, and their metallic language. So similar to Corvax, yet quite distinct. Nada is very quiet as they listen. When I finish speaking, they remain so quiet and so still that I wonder if I've forgotten I'm standing here. They're difficult to read sometimes. Yeah. Finally, they speak. Nada wonders. OK, great. They trail off, shaking their head. No, Nada will not wonder. Nada will understand. Our data is insufficient. I know if this pattern is familiar. Yet also, Nada thinks that the terminal echoes, thinks of Polo's echo construct, thinks of older stories before Nada divergence. Nada cannot help. They are just thoughts. We should try to understand builder entities. Echo construct may know this pattern better than Nada. Right. Okay. Well, that was rather cryptic, Nada. Um, where's it pointing me? It's pointing me to the assembled construct. Okay, all right. Well, that kind of makes a bit more sense, I suppose. Let's go and talk to one of their own. Even though this one is, is a little bit more hideous than those that we just encountered. This one's got multiple legs. Hello there, robot spider. Hello, man spider. The odd-looking construct rivers excitedly, their facial tubes swaying. They fix all five eyes upon me. You have five? Oh, yeah, you have, yeah. Go on. Here shall fills her. Show Atlantium. There you go. Here shall is. I. I. I know her. Okay. All shells know this crystal. All electronic hearts know her. Void, 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 void. Shite. Ask about the construct. Ask about the autophage. Ask about the autophage. I. Yes, I know them. Built others. No entity deserves erasure. Have built own. It, it speaks their freaking language. I am content here. I am home. Acceptance of no answers. Built others are different. They look for her. Built others respect st sturdy hands. Hands that build. Meet them where they are. Knowledge through friendship. Friendship through trust. Okay. Ask about the construct. I, I, I am. Okay. Construct. Assemble here by Polo's hands, and by your hands, other entities, I was made here. But remember, before here, before assembly, a mind was not a body, a mind remembers. I remember built others on quite a wavelength. Only a whisper, whisper long distance, trace difficult. 
Other entity take this memory, build to hear them louder. Except blueprint. Heck yes, polyphonic core, autophage resonance key, and attachments for the multi-tool scanner that allows the device to detect and decode cloaking signals of nearby autophage units. Yeah, wasn't that what the last thing just bloody done? Oh great, I need a quantum computer and living glass. Okay. Use L3 to activate the scanner as a detector waveform passes over the local area. It will automatically reveal any nearby autophage entities. In addition to this device, can be used to locate autophage settlements. Select this device and use it to locate the autophage camp and point, pinpoint planetary locations of interest to the autophage. All right, well, we'll be doing that then, I guess. Construct seems to be alleviated by the presence of Atlantium. Consult with Nada to decide the next steps. All right, well, firstly, I just want to see if I can make a quantum computer. Can I make a quantum computer or what do I need to make quantum computer? I need antimatter and another microprocessor. Well, I think I can make the antimatter. Can I make another quantum? Yes, I can. So we've done that. So hopefully I can then craft inside of my multi-tool what I need, which is that lovely new thing. There we are. I've made both. So why is it not? OK, I can put that in. Like I haven't made the quantum computer yet, so let's um let's go make that. Let's go make the quantum computer. Uh, scroll down. Quantum computer. Uh, there we are. And can I make the glass into living glass? I don't think I've got any bloody lubricant on me. All right, well, let's make that. And can I make the living glass? I don't think I've got the lubricant. I can make some lubricant. Boom. And then can I make the living glass now? Living glass. I need more glass. OK, I need five glass. One, two, three, four, five. Ha ha. I'm there. I can make my living glass now. Living glass, living glass. Where are you? There you are. Then over to the multi-tool. Let's see if I can make that. Chicka pow. Chicka boom. We're done. We've freaking got it installed, mate. That's installed. It needs to be charged up with Atlantium. There you are. You're happy. I'm happy. Everyone's happy. Now let's go and speak to Nada. You know what? I'm just going to gonna fly there. I'm just going to sod the ramps. Right, though. Let's go on through over this way. Let's go and speak to Nada. See what Nada's got to say. Now, I'm thinking at this point, this gives you guys out there in the view of us enough to know how to get this mission started yourselves. And I don't know whether I want to press on and spoil anything for you, but this is a very good video on how to get started with the rituals, isn't it? And how to get those two bits of technology installed located. Hopefully this gets you on your way. Did Polo Friend Project Wake? Do they live? Say you spoke to the autophage. Nice one. Cool. Hmm. They are an entity. They have self. But whatever their voice, Nada does not think they're a builder entity any more than Nada is. All right, you know what? I think this is a good place to stop now, people, because this gives you guys the technology. It gives you your first steps. And like I say, I don't think I should spoil anything else for you. So you know what? This was I had to take out a, Fred, uh, a, a pirate freighter, which it still is. I mean, I did that. But I was going to show you how to also recruit some frigates. That's going to be another video. If you like what you've seen, even though it was freaking crazy and went off on a random tangent, hit that like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and then you'll know when my next video comes out. And hopefully it might be pressing on with this, or it might be getting a frigate, or it might be me testing my VR headset. The reason I didn't test my VR headset is I had to charge up the, the controllers. Yeah. So anyway, take care. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.